and in the light of that the supreme court has said all human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights they are endowed with reason and conscious and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood then the supreme court has further said that the basic needs of man have traditionally been accepted to be threefold clothing and shelter the right to life is guaranteed in any civilized society that would take within its sweep the right to food the right to clothing and the right to decent environment and a reasonable accommodation to live in these are the three observations three line observations of the supreme court which is the crux of article 21 of the constitution of india therefore you have to be cautious about dignity of a man that dignity of man is that he should be properly get shelter proper food and proper decent environment regarding environment there is no quarrel your dean faculty of law here has made the dais a beautiful environment by trees and i congratulate him that this beautiful environment on the dais itself shows that she is very much conscious about the environmental effect about the decent environment how to live and i am thankful to her that she has thought of this that the even the dais should be environmentally good <coughs> the supreme court has also that the kapila hingorani's matter i was referring has referred a judgment of the supreme court earlier supreme court that is you just note down chameli singh's case chameli singh's case you will find in that judgment what the supreme court has said in any an organized society right to live as a human being is not ensured by meeting only the animal needs of man it is secured only when he is assured of all facilities to develop himself and is freed from restrictions which inhibit its his growth all human rights are designed to achieve this object right to live guaranteed in any civilized society implies the right to food water decent environment education medical care and shelter these are the basic human rights known to any civilized society <coughs> this paragraph of the supreme court you must note down and this will be for your career uplift upliftment that is a knowledge of the human rights knowledge of the constitution knowledge of the declaration of human rights these are the important factors for a liar about to know himself one of the 
prominent English man has asked who is a good good advocate somebody told that he must be aware of the laws somebody has told that he must study the law books he must study the brief but the prominent person who was an experienced advocate has said that these are the not the primary thing the primary thing is that a liar must know his judge as to what his temperament is as to how he has come either he has taken a quarrel in his house and i am arguing the matter that immediately he will say no 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 nothing doing nothing doing therefore he has to study the judge how he behaves how he has knowledge of a particular subject suppose you are arguing a rent control matter before a judge who is not aware of the rent control matters then the reaction will be he will not be able to understand therefore you have a knowledge of the law also and you have a knowledge of the judge also there is a illustration this is a real illustration there was a matter going on in the supreme court long back you must have heard about the up jamidari abolition act and tenancy laws there is a provision of sirdari rights for depositing the amount to become bhumidhar 